Alright then, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII New Threat. I shuffled around some, some materia, mo mainly just to give some of my other elemental materia that isn't lightning some leveling. I might want to even shove like poison on him or something, because that one doesn't have much leveling yet. There's probably only going to be like a battle between here and Calm or something like that, so... I also tried to move my mic into a slightly different place to hopefully get rid of the annoying breathing noises you might have heard in the last episode. I don't know, they really annoy me, but I don't know if they bother anyone else. Alright, so I'm glad I have poison now because... Alright, I, I kind of want to kill these guys first because I don't want them stealing my trash. And I'll use Matra Magic, because that'll probably hit the hardest overall. Oh, I have Bio and Barret. That's kind of cruddy. I didn't actually think there would be humanoid enemies. Barret's magic is so bad, I'm not even sure hitting a weakness is worthwhile. With the poison, it might be, though. I'm hoping this Matra Magic will take him out. They don't seem to be doing a whole lot yet. Once I get to Calm, I can probably just heal anyway, so... Well, that worked out perfectly. Get myself some of that juicy AP. A whole 30 points of it. I can see the dot on my map, so I know this is the right way to go. And let's save again. Now here's the deal, I'll probably actually be doing the calm cutscenes because I haven't done them in a while, so this episode might feel like a whole load of nothing to a lot of you, and that's if that's the case, just skip it. If you actually do want to watch the, uh, the shopping and stuff, I'll be doing that first, I suppose. Uh, good for you. You really wanted me to listen to you, and uh, I did, I suppose. Yeah, I'll take that either, thanks. I know there's a bunch of trash around here that I can pick up. Eh, you just have to burn oil and kill the planet that way instead. Alright, do I get something from this chest? I think there's a couple chests in here that don't look like the regular Final Fantasy VII tre treasure chests, but you can still open them. Hello, Red. You clearly went into the inn, but now you're here. <laughs> oh, shoot. Are the characters hanging around town just a new threat thing? I think they were. That sounds more like Sega Chief than the original game writers. Is it the complete lack of sunlight? Because I think that would bother a lot of people. Nope. That's not neither. I didn't want a dog. Can't use that in battle. Could have sworn this was the in room. Locked. Isn't there a way to open this thing? I could have sworn there was. I don't know, maybe I have to come back later. Oh hey, was it Cloud? jerk. Nothing in here. There's a little chest up here, which is an important reason to come up here. Curio greens. How do they work in New Threat? Is it the same as normal? For chocobos? Well, that isn't very explicit, so I don't really know. Also, you can do this. 
Whee! Hello. I can spin. All right, let's get back down the spiral staircase. Do you have free stuff for me? <laughs> I love how she looks at me for a moment. Actually, it just looks like she's looking at her brother, but it looked like she looked at me for a moment. <laughs> like, hey, why are you... Why are you taking my stuff up? Well, I don't really care. I didn't really need that thing anyway. Now that I think about it, I don't even remember what I got. Hopefully I wasn't something I needed to remember. Uh... Yeah, those avalanche guys are pretty evil. Better kill them. <laughs> it's true, but I uh, I don't know that yet. Thanks for another ether. I'll take more of those things. Even though I kind of wasted one against Rufus trying to figure out what I was actually doing, I've still got 15, so it's not like I'm that broken up about it. Hello, old man. You're not useful yet. Life would be better if you gave me your stuff. sit down at the chair? Nah, probably not. Can I talk to the bartender? Yes. Good work, soldier. Jerk. I can go where I want. Are you gonna at least give me some stuff for not going in the kitchen? I meant to talk to Barrett. Alright, so I already have a Mithril Saber because I stole the darn thing. So not only did I get it early for casting some spells, which is pretty nifty, I also got it for free, and it's the most expensive thing on the list, so if I was going to get something, I'd rather have that. I also got a full metal staff for free, so I don't need this thing. Dexterity plus 30 is a pretty huge boost. And Vitality and Spirit plus 20 is not as useful because... Uh, I don't like to use Barrett in the front row when he's got a perfectly serviceable back row weapon. This isn't even that much stronger, really, and the Vitality and, sp like the Vitality and Spirit boost is not going to make up for the fact that he's in the front. So, at least I don't think it will. Then we've got more Mithril Armlets, which probably isn't worth it at this point, because I've got some very nice armor in the Carbon Bangle and Shinra Beta. Might as well just use those. They're much more competent defensively than this Mithril Armlet anyway, and the dexterity boosts from those things probably make up for the difference in magic. So the only thing on my list is the Cannonball, which I think I might as well just buy. I mean, the Mithril Claw, sorry. I don't have anyone in my party right now, but... No, stop it. Unless Barrett's the weapon store. <laughs> Wow. Poor Barrett. Alright, so I might want more Earth and Poison. Like I said, I kind of want to have three of each of these elemental materia. Steel and Sense I probably don't need more of. Even though you can actually get good stuff with Steel in this game. I'm not generally going to have all three of my characters wanting to steal at the same time, probably. And, and not to mention using three Materia slots on it. Even if it's a mostly positive boost that I get, it's still only Dexterity plus five. Since 
I definitely don't need more than one sense. So that's completely pointless. I think I will go for two earths and two poison. That's basically all of my cash, but it sets me up well for later, and I didn't need most of the other stuff in this town, because I'm pretty well stocked on items. I've got all the equipment that I really wanted to get. So I think this is a good time to do it, especially since it's so early for whenever I happen to want those things around. Because with elemental materia, even a level 1 elemental materia can be very useful if it's, if it's allowing me to hit a weakness there. Item store. Is there anything I actually want? I didn't use that many potions. I think I'll just save my cash for now. The next town isn't too far off, is it? The next town would be Junin, right? And whatever I need cash for at Fort Condor. Oh, I probably want some tranquilizers, though. I'm gonna buy five of these things. Hyper might be worthwhile at some point, but I probably don't want to bother right now. Like, I could get, I suppose I could get three hypers, one for each of them, in case I decide to use hypers in a strat somehow, but I generally don't like fury as much as sadness on the whole. But for some characters it could definitely be useful, particularly for red, I guess, for Piley. Yeah, I'll save the rest. It's only 300 bucks, but it's something. Alright, now for, as Garland puts it, Super Boredom World 1 or whatever he said. I'm not sure how, considering they're also waiting everywhere else, but... Yeah, yeah, I need to... No, 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 shut up, let me check the thing. I'm gonna forget if I do it afterwards. I find the foreshadowing with motion sickness of all things amusing. What, ice and bolt? Oh boy. Actually, does he even equip anything as Young Cloud? She has actually gotten stronger, which I suppose makes sense. HP, status, and KO restore. Okay, so full heal has become this renew spell that does a lot more, I think. Either that or it was just renamed, but I think the status thing is new. Then we've got Comet, Comet 2, and Freeze. Also, I can control Sephiroth for what it's worth. 
an elemental six hits. Twice, almost twice as expensive. And these still inflict status as I recall they did before. And you can, oops. You can summon Bahamut. Also, I can actually be hurt. Let's just attack for the moment. Okay, so you definitely have materia in this, but... Oh, it, t it actually tells me how many alls are left. It's interesting. And you have Odin. That's Odin, his face. I guess plot-wise, it makes... It kind of makes sense that Mishi would be stronger it, during this flashback. It was completely different from before where he was complete trash during the flashback. I mean, this is still kind of trash compared to Sephiroth who did twice that much with the physical hit, but you know. See how much he does with Behemoth. Shout summon with the barrier effect. As our first opportunity to actually use these summons, might as well give it a shot. stronger than his physical attack. Sword is pretty darn powerful, I guess. How much does your physical attack do? And he's almost dead. A whopping 190. I think freeze is actually the thing that's most effective here. Because it'll hit a weakness. And it's pretty darn powerful in its own right. Yeah, that's 5,000 damage. And he gained a lot of MP back. It must be attached to an MP absorb thing. Which means he can spam freeze all day long if he wants to. And that's the best Cloud can do. I'm surprised it isn't dead yet. This thing is bulky. It's also starting to hurt pretty bad. If Cloud dies, I might as well just cast Renew on him then. <laughs> I could actually waste all my items during the flashback, but obviously I don't want to do that. Send all your items back to the past and throw them away there. That would be a pretty magical decision. Freeze basically only costs half as much. Any dragons to fight in Nibelheim? <laughs> Good job. It's Tifa. Dun dun dun.
jerk. Let's go buy some items. What about in here? I came in. Oh, yeah, right. I actually did come in here. Got the spiky hair too, of course. exactly call it a uniform. The whole point of uniforms is to be, you know, uniform. <laughs> like, the same for everyone. I can't imagine that all the people in Soldier wear Cloud's weirdo outfit here. can't steal any of the food. Well, that this trip was pointless. <laughs> now I'll go upstairs. <laughs> So beautiful. Is that the song you normally have to play to get a thing? I don't remember. That's not what he said before. <laughs> I like trains is definitely not what he said before. <laughs> because I can't ferry anything back from the past even though I can throw it all away. I'm excited for that part of Cloud's story.
Alright, that seems like everything to do around here. You know, I don't understand how you devote any devote enough time to any of them to actually help teach them any martial arts that matter, but you know. I wonder how powerful Zangan is right now, if I he were to join my team. I was trying to move, but I wasn't going the right direction. Conversations with Sephiroth like that. They always make sure that that one particular soldier that's actually Cloud is present. Kind of a neat little detail. Oh, that was a weird thing that happened with the music. Gotta force me to go through this area so I don't pick up the swords up there. Good work, guys. 10 out of 10. people could actually die from fall damage in this game, the entire plot would be solved right here and now. Sephiroth would be dead, I mean Cloud and Tifa would be dead too, and that's quite unfortunate, but... sudden young Tifa here. So wind damage is extra damage against flyers in this game. I kind of want to check out Odin's insta-death summon though. I'm pretty sure it'll work against these chumps. It's not like Cloud's MP really matters. He's not exactly the, start of the sh star of the show here. Well, I can't use item in here. Enemy skill. 
he actually has that. No, I guess not. Ice, lightning, fire, all preemptive. That helps. And Odin. He saw most of these things, but... Yeah, summons have pretty hefty drawbacks. But they actually do increase magic, which, unlike the normal magic materia... So, there's some... I, I remember pulling off an oddball setting once, set up once, where I just gave Red all the summon materia and boosted his magic to all get out. But the drop in MP makes it harder to cast them too, so... Wow, only level 50 and he's got like 8,000 HP. My characters won't have quite that much. Yeah, Sephiroth's got some kind of insane statistics there. 100% crit rate and 50 attack, which I think is pretty high. It might as well be a lot higher than that if he's got 100% crit rate. Gold armlet is extra strength, which he barely needs at all, but whatever. Yeah, all his stats are much higher than Cloud's, except for Luck, which is barely higher at all. And for Materia... <laughs> and just that dot dot dot, like, you're trying to remove my Materia Cloud? What are you doing? So Renew is almost pointless for sitting right next to Life 2. I wonder what the MP cost difference is, even. Okay, it's about half, so not at pointless at all, but... HP plus. MP plus. You basically only get one of each in this game, I think. If I remember correctly. And you can't even get more because you can't master them. There are They start mastered, like, the, like I can see here. MP Turbo and Bahamut. So he spends extra MP on Bahamut to get a more powerful spell, which basically just allows it to do more damage than his physical attack, At this, in all honesty. HP Absorb and Comet, so he can actually heal with that. That's cool to know. MP Absorb, Contain. It's kind of cool just to check this stuff out, since I won't really get another chance. And I can't check my limit menu either. Honestly, the cave doesn't look that unusually colored, but, you know.
Now this is one time that that soldier over there would definitely not be able to see inside, but... Nope, not that way. It's weird that I actually have to talk to Sephiroth this time, considering when I had to close the valve, I had to just talk to the pod, but now when he asks me to look through the window, I have to talk to him instead. exactly sure why he freaks out as much as he does over this. <laughs> I mean, it, sure, it would be kind of creepy, but... I wouldn't exactly, like, explode and start burning down villages and slicing people in half. I'm not sure how these things escaping the reactor uh, increases the number of sentient motorcycles that attack people in the overworld, but, you know. actually in here yet. No safes or anything. I think the way through it is this way. I don't think there's anything else worth checking out. Thanks, Cloud. There better not be anybody watching these videos who has never played the original Final Fantasy VII because I'm just throwing the plot in the garbage at this point, but, you know.
gonna check out this room first. I know later I can actually look at what some of these books say, but I guess it makes sense that Cloud wouldn't have read them the first time, so he wouldn't remember what they say. And this is why you shouldn't read, kids. Reading is knowledge, knowledge is power, power corrupts. And you also don't get good enough sleep. Just to add icing onto the cake. Gosh dang it, why couldn't I remove your materia before you were before you turned evil on us? I was supposed to go down to the basement. <laughs> Those guys are just there to prevent me from trying to leave. talking about he's not different at all F didn't he always laugh maniacally to himself You're not going to throw materia at me yet? Whoops. Yeah, you run into that wall cloud. I'm crazy too. Why does one of the burning things just look like an ordinary bonfire? Like, you know, Sephiroth decided after burning down the town he'd also just chill out and cook some marshmallows over the ordinary bonfire.
remind me not to use fire three on this guy. I don't think it's gonna work very well. I feel like it would be really hard to make that transition in a speed run without like running the wrong direction. That's the weird thing. Oh no, they couldn't have moved it. But the fact that uh, you're missing a bunch of your memories, you managed to forget what happened when you confronted Sephiroth, that's not strange at all. That's just perfectly normal, right? One of the pivotal moments of your life and you have no clue what on earth happened.
This, of course, is completely new because Yuffie's a mandatory character now. To make sure you have absolutely no excuse not to Yuffie warp. How exactly does she know that Piley has any materia? Well, I guess she would have heard him talk, if nothing else. <laughs> Good work, Piley. So, she doesn't actually get any of my materia. I guess I better shove poison on some people. I don't know if this is actually a fight or not, a meaningful one or anything. So, Mithril Claw, slightly lower tech, but the dexterity plus 30 easily makes up for that. Shinra Beta has evasions, I suppose. Huh, I thought it had actual defense for some reason. I must have first read it earlier. But I can't have her in the... I don't care if she evades extra attacks, I can't have her in the front row. Uh, with no evasion. Alright, so let's, let's exchange with Garish. Just make this easy. And then we'll shove the ice on here. And you can just exchange with red. I didn't realize that I would end up with this team at this point, but... So what is she missing now? Restore. I'm gonna do what I thought I should do earlier in the other fight and give her the full metal staff. Because that's a pretty huge defensive bonus for her. And she can just slap the restore in that extra slot, and I lose practically nothing. Meanwhile, she needs poison, that's for sure. And this barrier all should probably be in the correct place. There we go. It's probably the easiest way of doing that. I probably don't need Osmos for this one fight, so let's just slap the poison on here. Elemental poison, and does Cloud have poison? No, he doesn't. Sense and an E skill. Let's just swap out the lightning. I'm pretty sure I don't need it here. Yeah, that's good enough. Can't really save, but... I don't think this fight is hard, per se. <laughs> I'm parrot and red are <laughs> Wow, limit break. Didn't know you had that charge. Kick the crud out of her, please. Nothing to steal. Um does perfect dodge only count for evading things? Huh. <laughs> cool. Now smack her again. I suppose I could put barrier on everyone. Not that I can give it to red or... I can't even target them in all honesty. Not that there's any reason to actually do that, but... And she got poisoned. This is... <laughs> Oh. Oh, wow, what is that? That's like Ruby Weapons Attack, isn't it? Uh, well, one character is gone now. I can't.
can't use the wait trick right now because I only have two characters left, so I can't really do anything effective with it, but you know. Yeah, that went... That was a pretty easy fight. Not that I got anything from it, except for a new character, of course, which is probably the best prize of all, but... You know. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about this. It just goes through all the dialogue options with Cloud picking the perfect dialogue option every single time, I think. I'm assuming I can't just leave. That actually seems like it can run out of the screen a little bit, but... <laughs> do 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 I'm actually not sure if that's spelled l spelled right. Yes, that's indeed correct. Okay. Kalioka, welcome to the team. So it does work exactly how it did in the previous fight. I could have sworn it was different before. That could be insanely good in some cases. She's level 19, so I'll be using her in the next episode. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Because I've already done everything calm. There's nothing to do but walk south. So I think I'll end it off there. See you next time.